Okay, quickly back on the Sentinel. I want to address some things from the other video, part two. Uh, this diode arrangement here that's outlined over here on the uh, schematic. I'm not familiar with this system, but I, I, I spoke with a gentleman who's worked on these one of these sets probably 40 years ago. And uh, this pin 12 comes off the secondary of the power transformer. 120 volts, red, red. Okay. Uh, one side of the secondary goes to ground. Comes through the filter capacitor, and he knew this in his mind without even seeing this diagram. So we have a negative side of this 100 microfarad coming through a 10 ohm resistor to one of the rectifiers to ground. So it's the center tap of these two rectifiers is where the secondary from the power transformer comes. And here's our fuse and our filter choke and our the start of our main filter caps. The reason why the cathodes say K plus is because they, they are referring to it as the positive side of the diode. If you look up a diode, I was explaining the polarity of a diode and how it's outlined on the internet and everything that the it's opposite but what he explained is the way this is labeled is the cathode says K plus because that's where you put your filter caps let me explain the cathode is the positive side of the diode which is where you put your filter caps it only allows the positive side of the AC. The anode always goes to the AC. So that's why the K positive side of the diode on these markings. So this is our B plus right here. We don't know what it is. Again, my SAMS is missing part of page two. I do not have the low voltage power supply section on page two. It's it's cut off. I don't have it. So all I have to reference is this diagram. I don't know if it's the writers. I've seen this before. Others have sent this to me, uh, which, I, which I'm thankful for. But I have this already. No voltages are given. 300 volt caps here. I'm going to assume that the B plus is, let's just say, 180 volts. Just guessing. If we needed to put a dropping resistor in, we're going to uh, juggle this 10 ohm right here. But we're not on that. Another thing we're going to do it was going to monitor the B plus. We're going to see what it's at and we're not going to do the rectifiers just yet. We're going to check the B plus first. There could be sections of the set not working which would raise the B plus. There are sections of the set that may not be working that could lower the B plus. What I was told is put it on the variac and watch the B plus while you're trying to get the rest of the set running. Get the circuits running while monitoring the B plus. Now now, the next thing we're going to do, we have to check the CRT. Another thing that was stated, even when these sets were new, they were not the brightest, brightest sets, period. And the tubes didn't last very long either. When we powered this up, we had to have the curtains closed to see the raster. Granted, we're only 2 kV on the, uh, on the high voltage here. That could be attributing to that, but we don't know. The tube needs to be tested. I, I advise the owner that the uh, even when it's running to put all this work into this that it may not it's not going to be room filling brightness. It may still have to be washed in the dark. If you put a new CRT in it would be bright but they would not last very long. I was told he, the uh, gentleman I spoke with says that they also this tube was was driven too hard or the filament is too high or something in it, but they just did not last very long. So there aren't many of them out there. In any event, we're going to go to our CR70 universal adapter. I have all the pins attached where they should be, and we're going to, we're going to check the CRT. I was told to give a, a two-minute warm-up time, so we'll come back. Okay, we're it's approaching two minutes on warm-up here. Our filament is lit. Okay, we're approaching two minutes. Our filament is lit. And then we have about two minutes, so.
I don't know why it says G1 shorts bad. I'm not going to concern myself with that. going to try to turn. Cut off does nothing. We'll just do a mission. Tube test good. I've never tested one of these tubes, okay? Cutoff cannot be set. As I said, this is a different style tube. This is a scope style tube. This G1 shorts section. I don't know if that's um, if that's valid or not. I'm not going to worry about that. We're at 6 6.3 filament. This is the only tester I can test this with. The emission says good. So that's what we'll go with on the 7JP4. Others of you out there that may have tested this tube may have some insight on the CR70 universal adapter our tests on that G1 shorts. It just sits there. No cutoff and G1 shorts is in the bad, but I'm not worried about that because the tube does light and produce video. Next we'll check the B+. Here's a list of the capacitors uh, minimum that we would uh, change in this. I don't have any mylars, just the electrolytics, then the wax paper capacitors on both chassis.